Welcome to El Monumental and what a sight it provides. I'm John Champion and covering this game alongside me, someone who certainly knows a thing or two about playing at the top level, it's Jim Beglin. Hi John, at this stage I think the players are just desperate to get out there and this promises to be a terrific game. The spectators rise for the national anthem. Lineups for today. In goal, it's Bravo. Alexis Sanchez, Eduardo Vargas providing the goal scoring threat. Here we go then. Charles Aranguiz. Vidal. Charles Aranguiz. Eugenio Mena. Alexis Sanchez. Good strong run down the right. Now looking though for some support. Forward it goes. Didn't have any luck with the through ball there. I timed this run brilliantly and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then and I think he's letting him know right now about that, just a little more behind it was needed. Vidal! He hits it! Well that was really close, you get nothing for being close. Oh, he couldn't have hit that any better, any other time it would have sneaked in. That would encourage another try though. Well, that should set them on their way and get into a nice rhythm. The early signs are very encouraging now. Francisco Silva. No getting it through there. He knew what was coming. Vidal. Marcelo Dia. Eugenio Mena. ball over the top shoots here that was a super ball in but no success and that all stems from great vision you know what a delightful little ball over the top that was good through ball it's one on one, bursting forward. What a chance that was. They may live to regret that. No side able to force a breakthrough yet. Picked off there. This 
goes for a throw-in. Charles Aranguiz. He's looking to find his front men. Looking to exploit the space. Pass cut out. That is way off. Chile can count themselves lucky there. Look, but for a messy execution, they would have conceded there. So that has to go down as a, as a lesson learned. Otherwise, they can expect to be bothered more by, by that counter-attack. Down the middle it goes. Well, oh, that's a neat escape. And the ball has been cleared. Vidal can't hurt you with his back to goal and I think if they can keep him facing in that direction then the only thing he can do really is to just lay the ball off and, and he's not really going to cause much trouble if he continues doing that so I think they're defending him very very well through into space it goes shoots here Not long remaining in this first half, both teams missing chances. Surely a goal! Well, I feel I've got to praise the shot here because it's not easy to execute those first-time volleys. They usually end up in Rosetto. Yes, the keeper was certainly tested. Charles Aranguiz. Ball goes through. Only five minutes remaining in the first half. No, the defence alert and kicked out the danger. Oh, good challenge, and he's got it back. Alexis Sanchez. They were so nearly punished for their mistake. Miguel, Alexis Sanchez, Vidal, Eduardo Vargas, try to play it through, maybe now, goal, Chile, and a goal right on the stroke of half-time. That is a really smart piece of work. So away we go then for the second half. Looking to play on the break. Well intercepted. Saw the danger and got to it. Medel. Marcelo Diaz. Isla. Eduardo Vargas. was there he dealt with it well a ball over the top and he'll drive it here the upright in the way great effort he was really alert to the possibilities there yeah, and he knew he had to get his efforts away before being closed down but he could have sacrificed a little power then for a bit more accuracy 
sticky moment for them there, but they emerge unharmed. Chile really have been given a wake-up call there. Carelessness or a drop in concentration, whatever the reason, they only have themselves to blame for a very avoidable situation. Chile scoring on the stroke of half-time to give them a 1-0 lead. Looking to receive the ball, break could be on. And he's still going. A header, he scores! And that completes the comeback. The cross was inch perfect, it demanded that finish. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved, he gave it everything he had. Game restarts with the scores level again. Oh, this is real tit for tat stuff. It's difficult to see which one has the drive and determination to come out on top now. Eduardo Vargas, who's just added his name to the score sheet, looking to exploit the space. Oh, that's neat. It's a really good try, but no goal. But when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. And he wasn't far off. Well, there's no doubt that the whole team revolves around him now. He leads by example, and he's become the main pivot. Cracking player. It's over the top. He decides to shoot. Nicely fed in. Right idea. Wrong execution. Oh, that was a lovely little dink over the top just to get the runner in on the keeper and what a pity he just couldn't produce a goal from that. Chile still not utilising their bench. Francisco Silva, Eugenio Mena, Eduardo Vargas, and he's fouled him. Great link up. Nearly, but in football terms, nearly is nowhere. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. Dangerous moments, but he was there to intervene. Looking to play on the break. Trouble looming, but he's able to cut it out. Knocks it through to the front line. Clock showing 75 minutes. This match hurtling towards a penalty shootout, or are we going to... Goal! Chile! Great cross in, made the rest easy. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. They now lead by one goal.
Look, I just think they've kept at it and got their reward. Now they need to hang on to it. Well played, that got them out of trouble. He's going on his own. Marcelo Diaz launches it high. Bravo does all that's asked of him there. The ball was taken. Plays it upfield. He was well positioned, good defending there. Real pressure from the opposition there. Possibility here. What a let off that was. Well, even the best players sometimes fail to deliver, but that ought to have been the equaliser. And the goal kick's gone straight to him. Chile just need to hold on for a few more moments. Time whistle within sight. He goes looking for his teammate, and that's gone straight to the keeper. We're well into stoppage time now. The time is against them, they need to get this ball forward. An interception. Cleared away from immediate danger. He's going on. Moved away in a fairly no-nonsense fashion. Jumps for the header. It was a good ball in, but no goal. Almost looked like the perfect marriage the way the long pass was delivered so exactly into the runner's path And it's a shame it led to nothing So there it is and that concludes today's contest They rammed home the advantage towards the end but praise to both sides I reckon for their never say die attitude throughout well, how enjoyable was that? I love it when you get two teams giving it everything they've got. They held nothing back. Terrific stuff. So, thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. And that brings us to the end of our coverage this evening.